So if I do have an open wound on my ass cheek, I will Which, for like, sure put that. But like, how often are you checking your your ass cheeks for open wounds? Every day, you know. Every day, like you might you might have an open wound on your ass cheek and not know it, and then sit on a toilet and get hepatitis. <sighs> oh yeah. <laughs> no. Oh, starting off with a soundboard. Yeah, I don't know. Yeah. How... <clears throat> Hello, and welcome back to another episode of Flashback with Smosh. Yeah, we felt like um, this episode should have themed seating. Yes. This is the first episode with themed seating. First of many. Yeah. Um, how expensive are toilets? Did we buy these for this episode? We just had these. We just already had these here? Yeah. I think Aaron suggested we, we do toilets as seats for this episode. <laughs> We looked to art department and we were like, do we have toilets? And they're like, yeah, we have toilets. <laughs> Why do we just have yeah. toilets here? I, I think that it's not strange that we have a toilet. But we, I do don't we have know two? why we have two toilets. Because how many sketches called for two toilets? I, I um, Actually, we've done sketches where the joke was that we had two toilets sitting like right next to each other, facing each other. Did we? Yeah, it was a long time ago though. It would have yeah. been, it wouldn't have made it here. That was in Sacramento. That was like the photos from like the uh, the Sochi Olympics in Russia. Yeah, where they're all right next where, to each yeah, other. Yeah, where they just like made the worst bathrooms <laughs> and like the toilets were facing each other. <laughs> Ooh, I wonder if NASA. I wonder if the International Space Station has more toilets. Do in they, case one doesn't. I don't know why I just imagine that they have suits on where they just shit in their like little tube. Dude, they're not wearing suits. A tube suits. that just suction. Have out. you ever seen somebody inside the International Space Station? Okay, you're right. I've seen people. They're not wearing around. suits. Okay. I just imagine it just jettisoned the shit out the side immediately. No, but there, I think the toilets do have like a suction to it. Yeah. Because obviously there's no gravity. But it doesn't go to space. No, <laughs> I don't think so. It, it's a weird diaper thing. It's a di it's Wait, a, when you sit down on the like toilet, you have to put a diaper on? It's like a weird diaper thing because it's like, yeah, it's just gonna float. Damn, yeah. who knew how much gravity helped you shit? How come we haven't gotten those diapers yet? Uh, uh, like, every time I'm on the toilet, I'm like, dude, wouldn't it be so nice? It could be. If you could strap a little uh, diaper yeah. pack on and it will jettison. Sometimes I need a little help. You know? Oh, and with, it pulls it out? Yeah, because it's got the suction. It pulls it out of you? I mean, I don't think it has like a little arm and it like reaches. <laughs> no, I was like, pulls it, su the log it out. sucks it out of you? I don't know. Does it suck it out? 20 minutes later. If millennials just didn't buy Starbucks, then they could have NASA like, toilets. They'd, they'd be able to own homes now. That's the real. Yeah. That's the real reason, let's be yeah. honest. It's a real reason. Yeah. Best sneeze. Have you guys ever shit your pants? <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I didn't. I, 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 I wanted to cover. I wanted to cover my sneeze, but I didn't want to sneeze on this awesome shirt. Yeah, yeah, you can't ruin the goods. I like how right before you sneezed, Aaron asked us, uh, "What did, what did you ask us? Have, have you ever, ever shit your pants? Because you were talking about wearing diapers, and that would be a lot of shitting your pants." Um, I, I've never, I've never shit. I've. I've never shit my pants. I've, I've like, when I was a kid, you know, like you do like the little fart and then like <laughs> juicy. I did that. That's uh, called a shart, sir. Yeah, like a little bit of a shart. <laughs> I've never like full blown shit my pants, but, but it is like, it is like truly one of my biggest fears. Yeah. Like because I, I had a I had a horrible <laughs> I had a horrible experience. Dude, when you told me about that experience, it just kept getting worse and worse and worse. The Utah? The Yeah. The... This is my biggest this is like first world problems. This is like one of my biggest traumas. <laughs> it was like a was it a truck stop or what was it? Yeah. So I was, I was backpacking for, for a few days in in the mountains in uh, northeastern Utah. And I don't know if it was some of the water that I drank. We were filtering the water. Uh, we came down from the mountains and we, we ate at this place that was just like in the middle of nowhere called the, um, I mean, I don't wanna, I don't think it'll hurt their business. Uh, it, was, <laughs> it was called the Crazy Cow Cafe. Okay. I had like a big rack of ribs and then like 20 minutes down the road, it was like, oh, I gotta go. Uh, and it's like rural Utah, so there's not like many stops. Uh -huh. And I barely made it. And then I was stuck in that truck stop bathroom for like three hours. Three hours. And it's like, it's not a fun place to be. No. Like it was not, I'm sure it was not 
appealing to be in there whatsoever. No, and there was this other guy next to me, and I think he was going through the same thing. And not not like this next to you. No, no, there was a wall. <laughs> there was a wall, but I could like see his like foot. And I, I, oh, it was like a stall like, with a visible area yeah, underneath yeah. it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, of course. And I could like see his foot, and <laughs> it just like. I don't know. He just didn't look that healthy. I could tell from his feet. Wait, was he there just as long as you? Uh, he was there for a while, and he was making a lot more noise than I was. I was like kind of body like, or mouth, like sounds. Uh, both. Okay. Yeah, yeah. I, I was very, I was very, I was very stealthy. Uh huh. You know? So, uh, how did the bathroom saga end? Uh, Three hours. You're watching this guy's foot. Do you, I'm sure you have that. I don't even know how how I had that much in me. Uh, and it just kept it just kept <laughs> happening. Yeah. I would like I would like go back out to my car being like, okay, I think we can go now. And then I'd get into my car and I'd sit there for like 30 seconds. I was like, nope, gotta go back. Uh, but I, I, I took some Imodium. It's that shit. What is that? See, Anthony clearly doesn't have poop problems. Oh, do you know that? You is? don't take Pepto, you don't take Imodium. Imodium is like an anti-diarrheal medicine. It you deal with that lot, Aaron? No, I'm just, <laughs> I'm human. <laughs> Yeah, so I took I took that and then I was fine and then I was like so dehydrated the next day. It felt like it was like a three day. It felt like a three day hangover. I'm sure it like, felt I like was three a, days in there too. Have you ever been dehydrated, like severely dehydrated? Not severe. I've been thirsty. Woo. And then don't they say being thirsty is the first sign of dehydration? dehydration. Yeah. <laughs> no, I've Who never started been. that. Is that know. true? I don't know. I'm gonna drink some water right now. Oh, Ned, did you just get thirsty? I mean, you're making me think about it. <laughs> you're like, I am thirsty. Am I dehydrated? Uh, no, I've never been that dehydrated. And I hope to keep it that way. <laughs> I don't know why I drank this with two hands. I don't know. Was it wet? Was it slippery? I feel like I'm five years old. <laughs> it looks like you drink out of your sippy cup. <laughs> and I'm choking on water. <laughs> no, my, my, mm. my pants shitting story is not nearly as exciting as that one. No, like that, like literally, like, um, I talked, I talked to my therapist about that. <laughs> new, the new trauma just dropped. You're like, yeah, it was like, I, I like, it was like, I like, have you ever like really had to go and you go to a gas station and they don't have a toilet? Yep. Yep. Or the order. And then it's just like no other alternatives. If you ask for water, someone should give you water if they have access. And also there should be toilets for free. Yeah. Yeah. Have you and ever tampons. Got Am I right, ladies? Look at that. Look at that. Ian loves ladies. Look at that. <laughs> You're welcome. Always thinking about ladies. Feminine hygiene problems. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Always thinking about them. Just in case. We can take that out. <laughs> so that was a story of me being stuck on the toilet, which I think is a great segue to today's video. Yeah. Which is titled Stuck on a Toilet. Stuck. In? Is it on or in? I feel like it's in a toilet, which is a little bit weird because we're, I'm in a porta potty. Mm. But I think I called it that because we originally were going to call it stuck in a porta potty, and it was like that word just looks so weird. Yeah, yeah. Porta potties. And also people call it different things like Porto John. Porto John? And, and Porta Lou. Oh, true. So we're like, let's just do toilet. So I think it's stuck in a toilet, which is a little bit weird of a stuck title. Stuck on a toilet. Stuck on a toilet. Do people still know that? Yeah. Still yeah. On the toilet. Okay. If Aaron knows it, everyone. All right. Knows if Aaron knows it, everyone knows it. Yeah. All right. Let's. Uh, shall we start this uh, amazing episode? Shall we? Um, okay. I know I've said this about so many episodes, but this is one of your favorite episodes. This might be my favorite episode. <laughs> this episode is so good. The writing is so solid. Okay. From beginning to end, <laughs> it's got a beeline story. It's got a nice little twist moment. I love it. It's I got like, it's got German words. It's, it's got it's culturally um, <laughs> inclusive. <laughs> <laughs> All right, shall we? There's no way I'm sitting on that toilet without a seat cover. Shut up! Do you sit on the toilets with seat covers? We just gotta we gotta get to it right now. Do you use a seat cover thingy like a little the oh, little yeah. paper thing? Oh yeah. I don't like those because I feel like it's like a. I feel like it kind of like you always like pee on it a little bit or like <laughs> like like there's always like something going on with it. So Do you pee sitting down? If you're pooping, pee comes out sometimes. Did you ever know that has that ever happened to you? <laughs> <laughs> what did they call
call it? Dual ops. Dual, Dual ops. <laughs> <laughs> so usually I'll just wipe it down with like some toilet paper and I feel good enough about that. Oh, you wipe it. See, like if if there aren't um if there aren't seat covers. Did you do a makeshift what toilet do, paper? Yeah, one? yeah, yeah. I'll do I'll do um <laughs> It's three square. It's three squares and two squares because that gives like on each side. Oh yeah. It gives like the right kind of like curvature, <laughs> and then I'll I'll do that. But yeah. yeah, I'll use seat covers. It took a long time for me to realize that like, the part that like flaps down, like the the it hit the hinge is supposed to be at the front. Oh, this way. Yeah. Why? I guess to maybe like, catch a pee pee. If you if you like, you know. But it soaks into it, and won't it eventually soak up to your legs? No, I don't think so. <laughs> <laughs> it's like peeing on a corner of a towel. It's gonna no, eventually it make does, it to the other side. It's not absorbent like that. <laughs> it's a little it absorbent. But it doesn't go like. <laughs> it's a like little cover the whole thing. I feel like if I pee no. on it, it's gonna eventually get to my leg. No, that's never happened in the history of. <laughs> it's happened to someone. Never. Okay. Anyway. Oh wait, that's the wrong one. I think what you're looking for is play. But yeah, no, I use I use seat covers. I don't I don't know if it's even effective, but it's more of like a peace of mind thing. <laughs> and I don't know, like uh, it's super not effective. Yeah, I mean it probably prevents like lice. Well, yeah, that's what my real question is. What are those things intended to prevent? For me, it's really an issue of like if there's pee spatter on the mm -hmm. toilet lid, I don't want to sit on it. Yeah, that, yeah. So I mean, wipe I'll, wipe, I'll wipe that. I'll wipe it, and then I'll put a seat cover on. Is it proven Germs? that the seat cover prevents anything? Uh, I mean, like, I think it would prevent, like, the transfer of, like, lice. Lice on yeah. the porcelain seat cover. Well, if it's on Waiting somebody's... Waiting for butt hairs to grab onto? Well, if it's on somebody's ass and then it crawls off their ass on the What the, the f When has anyone had an ass lice that gets on the toilet seat lid that gets Bro, on Bro, have you ass? heard of crabs? Yeah, is that- That's lice. Yeah, but is it from toilet seats? What? They have, it gets transferred from toilet seat to butt. Why couldn't it? Why do they hang out on the porcelain? Why do they have to like check children for lice in schools? Because they can transfer. From head to head, that's- Yeah. From, I could see from butt to butt, but I don't know about butt to seat to butt. Yeah, but like kids, but like kids in school aren't just going. Ugh. No, they're but they're like, hanging out. And they're like, "Here's my buddy." Yeah, and, and it's like on right. a shirt, and then like the shirt like touches. Like, it doesn't have to transfer directly from ass to ass. But I think we gotta get like we gotta get a scientist on here. To <laughs> PSA: Crabs is not spread on toilet seats. Crabs is not spread on toilet seats. Myth busted. You just got learned. I remember I watched I watched an episode of. Do you remember that there was a show called Bullshit? Yeah. And they did one on toilet seats, and I think they said that like your belly button has more bacteria and germs than your ass cheeks. I wouldn't be surprised. Yeah. So that's why I'm like, is it really necessary to put that little? Probably not. So if I do have an open wound on my ass cheek, I will Which, for like, sure put that. But like, how often are you checking your your ass cheeks for open wounds? Every day, you know. Every day, like you might you might have an open wound on your ass cheek and not know it, and then sit on a toilet and get hepatitis. I feel like there's a strong chance you would know that you have an open wound on your ass cheek if you have an open wound on your uh. ass cheek. I mean, you're right. What I don't know, I don't know. If I haven't looked, I'm not I always know. checking my ass cheeks. Hey everyone, this is a PSA from Smosh. Hi, when's the last time you checked your ass cheeks? Every year, five billion people die from sitting on toilet seats with... Ass cheek wounds. Call your local representative <laughs> for a free ass cheek. It's Thank you for that. You're welcome. All right, shall we continue? I think we did a good thing. I, I do think that there are definitely some people that learned something from that. A few lives have been saved. I think so. Yeah. We're two seconds into this video, and this and this video itself is like 15 <sighs> minutes long already. Let's play. So, what do you think about my awesome shirt? We just start right out the video oh, about shite. the shirt. What? Nothing. I've just been trying to learn German. Are you seriously trying to prepare for Nazi zombies again? <laughs> no. 
Whatever, man. Can you just pull over at the next bathroom? My bladder is seriously about to explode. Just use a bottle. <laughs> <laughs> I, I forgot that joke. <laughs> we just have thirty pee bottles. Yeah. I forget how we came up with that joke, but it was it's it's so good. It's pretty good. And if you look closely, all the bottles are slightly different shapes. Oh yeah. <laughs> like it just gives you this idea that it's just been over the course of however many days. Also, it's like it's so gross that people just leave like bottles of pee. Do people actually do that? Yeah, dude. I was like walking through my neighborhood, and there was just a bottle of pee on the side. Why? At least have like, the decency why, why? to to unscrew it and pour it out in the dirt. Yeah, that's kind of like, to be honest, yeah, like they should just dump it out. It's just like, yeah, feed some plants. If Yeah, plants could use that, the nutrition. Plants could use the nutrition. Yeah. Yeah. Fine. Oh, I missed that Subaru. Oh, yeah. Your ex. <laughs> we just had this. I mean, wait, can we go back and look at what the hell all the other... <laughs> Learning to also like can we appreciate the iPod? Dude, this was your this was your first iPod, right? This was the iPod video. Col video oh, this is iPod video. Because it had yeah. a slightly bigger screen than the yeah. iPod color. That's so fun. My first iPod was iPod color. And then soon after, I think within a year or so, you got your first iPod. And I put an episode of South Park on it. I remember you showing me the episode of South Park on this. Thing. Yeah, we did a video. Yeah. It was like a uh, day in life. Oh, yeah. Time. Yeah, you showed me on it. It's yeah. so nostalgic seeing this interface. And you would oh, and you man. would navigate the interface with a wheel. Yeah. I feel like we're like old people talking about <laughs> the rotary phone. <laughs> we used to have to hand crank our cars. Learning to eat cookies for breakfast. <laughs> All right. Learning to knit sweaters, to walk on your knees, to poop standing up. That, for some reason, was a common joke in our videos, was the idea of pooping standing up. It's a skill. Massage a narwhal. Mm. Wax your balls. Wax your balls. Speak German phrases. Uh, how to read good. That's the only one that we spelled mm. everything wrong. How to troll on YouTube. Common. Nice. Uh, and to eat cookies for breakfast. Was that a reference to... Cookie uh, Crisp? Or our Parents Suck video? It probably was just a reference to Cookie oh, Crisp. Oh, I don't think we did Parents Suck at this point. Did okay. We? It's funny because in Parents Suck, we literally had a line just dedicated to that. Mm-hmm. All right. All right. That's what did it say? Music, music for the recently, recently deceased? deceased? <laughs> what? I, think I don't that was remember just a song. that joke. I think that was just a song that we had. That was probably a metal song. That I think that was a metal. Yeah, I think that was just a metal song that was like literally playing. Yeah, probably. No way, but then we had this pop music playing. I don't know. No, no, no. It was. Oh. <laughs> we oh. came up with this gag because we're like, okay, we need a reason that this porta potty door shuts and I can't get out. Yeah, yeah. So we're like, oh, if we put a sign that says exactly what it'll do, then that yeah. makes sense. Yeah. Yeah. It was a good plot device. I think so. And then there's a rock nearby to, to hold it open. Oh, yeah. <laughs> The SpongeBob boxers. <laughs> and of course, those are a reference to uh, the first video that we hit a little secret thing in. That was the, the mm -hmm. Pokemon theme song. It was a quick little shot of me like this with the. Yeah. Boxers. Anyway. Common German phrases, part three. Let's begin. I like wearing Lederhosen. Ich mag tragen von Lederhosen. Ich mag tragen von Lederhosen. Very good. <laughs> Oh! oh. oh. <laughs> oh no! Oh, no, 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 no! Uh -oh. The unthinkable! No! Yeah. <laughs> I love how much the porta potty was like shaking. <laughs> yeah, and we we rented, rented. this porta potty yeah. just for this. Yeah, it was, like, it was like brand new porta potty. Yeah, like it's never been shit in. And we like, yeah, we went to this like random cul-de-sac in the foothills yeah. to shoot it. This is the perfect spot though. I, lo I just love this shot where you you are clearly I'm just, I'm just, sitting there, there, just like, like listening to your German phrases. Wait, who was the um, the German guys that we got to record oh, this? Oh yeah, they were like they were like uh, YouTubers. They're, yeah, they're like they're, German YouTubers. I think they did a lot of comedy skits too. Yeah. Um, oh man, someone just mentioned them to me. I forget their name. I think now. they're, wait, was it called Y-Titty? Yeah! Yeah. Yeah, Y-Titty. 
Yeah, I'm guessing it means something in German. Or it just is like, wow, titty. Yeah. Uh, but I looked up their channel, they haven't posted in a while. Oh, rip. Rip. But, uh, but yeah, yeah they, they, they reached out to us and they're like, anything? Oh, they said, do you want to do any kind of collab? And, and we were like, well, <laughs> I can't remember if we already had this written or if we uh, reached out to them after we started writing this. But yeah, we were like, we need some. We need some, some real good, German phrases. Authentic German phrases. And we're, we probably said, like, make it sound kind of like Hitler. <laughs> we said sound super aggressive and yeah. angry. Because that's, like, the only German that people have ever heard. Is like, is <laughs> ever? Like, is, like, angry, like, German screaming, <laughs> well, you know? Well, I think it was just that there were a lot of clips of, like, historical pieces and stuff around that time floating on the internet with just, like, Oh, German. Oh, Hitler angry. Yeah, exactly. I think yes. like that's the only German stuff I ever heard was like was like <laughs> weird stuff like that. That was the only German you heard at the time? I mean, like, when else, is there any me German media that you've ever watched? You know what? You're right. I mean, I feel like now with the internet being, making everything so much more connected, you're much more likely to hear German Did at some point. Have you ever watched a German movie or a German television show? Can't say I have. Can't say I have. And for some reason, the only word that I really knew in German was Scheiße. Yeah. So. Yeah. There was like a song at the time that someone of our friends would play and it would like, shit, Scheiße, Mjerd. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So I was like, what's that second word? Oh, that's. Mm -hmm. German for well, and we shit. always heard about German Scheiße films. Oh, yeah. true. <laughs> so anyway, we thought it'd be funny if you're uh, if there's it's super angry German and you're saying it back all yeah, excited. and I'm saying like ah yeah, yeah. all right. <laughs> How about this phrase, you stupid American? I just pooped my lederhosen. <laughs> It's scheiße off my lederhosen. It's scheiße off my lederhosen. Very good. <laughs> it's funny, this video, it's one, almost 100% us separated from each other. Mm. We're, we're going through each of our trials and tribulations. Yes. Yeah. There's an A story and a B story. Mm. That's what I was getting at. Mm. Mm -hmm. Found a check on me sometime. Oh yeah, and this was also inspired by 127 oh, yeah. Hours. I forgot. I yeah. forgot. Yeah. So like, well, I think that was the that was the original reason. inspiration yeah. for making this. So, uh, 127 Hours is about a man who was on a hike. Apparently, didn't real tell life anyone. story. Yeah, real life story. Didn't tell anyone where he was going. Uh, fell into some kind of a crevasse, and uh, a rock had fallen at the same time, and he got his arm smashed under the rock in this awkward position in this crevice. Yeah, after 127 hours, decided, you know what, I'm gonna die. I have this pocket knife situation going on. I'm gonna cut off the arm so I can leave. Yeah. Horrible. And he died. No, he No, lived. he, he, he uh, lived to tell the story, yeah. which and is- And then James Franco got to play him. And I'm glad he lived, because, or else we wouldn't have inspiration for this. Mm. Nah, we would've still done it. <laughs> 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 Somehow I can down. slide. <laughs> I love this music. It's like I like there's clearly there's clearly a massive gap on the bottom. <laughs> and if I can slide down, yeah. I'd be able to slide out the gap. Yeah, maybe, but maybe it's too far down. Who oh, knows? way too far down. You're gonna take a nap uh, on the uh, on the floor of a porta potty. It was uh. never used. Mm. Don't judge. I wonder how they clean out porta potties. Have you ever thought about that? Because uh, like you've seen like I'm sure you've seen some pretty bad porta potties. Where yeah, it's like, I'm guessing they just take a hose to it. Just a hose? Yeah, it's plastic. I feel like they need like antiseptic. Oh, spray. antiseptic hose spray. Yeah, maybe. <laughs> this was such a good story. Though. Oh, on his, I'm still go. sitting there learning <laughs> yeah, okay. German. For 172 hours. And how long did I sleep for? <laughs> that is a, such a disgusting image. I I like how we were like, it's not enough to just show a cheeseburger. We or, had maybe to we, or maybe we thought people wouldn't totally, maybe like we filmed it and we were like, oh, people may not get what it is. We for story. sure added that little jingle afterward because it yeah. was supposed to just be the shot of it, then the zoom in. But yeah, we were like, okay, seeing a cheeseburger in a toilet for some reason makes it just feel like, okay, am I missing something? This is not a cheeseburger. This is like 
shit or something. Yeah. 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 So. Cheese baker. Yeah. Oh, can you reach it? That's so gross. That's so gross. Just my fingers scraping on the toilet. <laughs> I, I, I <laughs> this music is so good. The soundtrack here. Ooh, that's is a that classic iPhone, iPhone. Four. That was four. Yes, yeah. it's time I say my goodbyes. <laughs> hey, mom. This is so. I guess this is it. <laughs> wait, wait. You gotta hear what I say. Oh, God. I hate it when people record vertically. Oh my god! Oh. <laughs> that dates this thing. Yeah. Just now, the idea now. of recording vertically was so cringy back then. Yeah, dude. Yes, it was, yeah. Like, if you recorded vertically, you were an idiot. Well, because no one shared, the only places that you would see vertical video and it would be displayed properly was if you were like, text someone a video. Otherwise, when, yeah. are, when are you seeing a vertical video displayed on a vertical right, cause screen? Right, because YouTube was really the only place where like video was. YouTube, what, they did have a mobile version of the app at this time, but still, it would always display the video horizontally. Yeah. So if you were to pull up your phone, watch a video uh, that was recorded vertically on the YouTube app, it would be this teeny tiny little thing in there. So, yeah. Yeah, so it was uh, cringy back th at one point in time. Yeah, it was like old people would would like pull up their phone to record something and be vertical. Yeah, like, what are you doing? Now it's the old people that record it horizontally. Yeah, and the old people is us. Damn, life got better. Yeah, it is easier to record vertically. Well, yeah, and then every device has a way to like full screen it and display it on a vertical screen. Oh, if it has capability. Yeah. Anyway. 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 Uh, yeah. So apparently, I had my phone on me this whole time. Mm. Hi, mom. I guess this is it. Hey, Dad. Sorry I never mowed the lawn. Hey, Ian. Thanks for getting me killed. Yeah, you're a really great friend. Oh, and to the lady at the Burger King, I know I asked for a water cup, but I filled it with Sprite. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I had your image as this on my phone yeah. until uh, the day that we recorded our I Spent a Day With video, the interview oh, yeah, video, yeah. Mm -hmm. and we took a picture together, and it was that day I was like, you know what, I think it's time for me to update this picture. Wow. Yeah. So I had that on my phone for like 12 years. That is just... The worst. And your name, world. your name was literally Ian Hecock's worst friend ever on my phone forever. I never. No, shut <laughs> <laughs> no I did change that. Okay. <laughs> but the picture really did stay. Yeah, that is just horrible. Did you take that photo specifically for this? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> this doesn't even look like you. I think this might have been just like right after one of our like heroin benders. You know? Yeah, those were always an issue, but they were yeah. a fun time to take photos. <laughs> just like, yeah. Um, it's, yeah, I, ugh. I never thought it'd be nostalgic to see an old iPhone interface too. Dude, and it's also funny to see like how bad design was. Like Where the, everything like was like beveled and gradients and. Yeah, and like the slide to answer. It's because they wanted, at one point in time, it's like they wanted to design everything to look like realistic to, with shadows and oh, contours. Oh, look like a real button. Look like a real interactive thing. It's so ugly. Yeah, but it's just coming off the heels of actual physical things, so it was like yeah. people needed to have that correlation. Yeah. Anywho. I like how we just ripped Make music. it quick. I'm in the middle of recording no, my no. device. That wasn't, that wasn't the real. No, but we ripped someone else's parody. Oh. They don't need to know that. They don't. They'll never find out. Hurry the hell up, man! You took so long that now I have to take a shiz. <laughs> After 172 hours. What? Dude, I can't hear you. What? Hello, Anthony. Anthony, can you, can you hear me? <laughs> oh no. Great. He used up all his battery. Huh. Guess I should have told him I was trapped in here. Huh? <laughs> oh, dummy! Oh. You big <laughs> dummy doo doo head. <laughs> You stupid. Wow. Now what? <laughs> this, this ominous pocket knife. Ooh. Ooh. Oh no. 
<laughs> I can stand up now. I like how I'm referring to the actor rather than yeah. the real person. Thinking that like, <laughs> thinking that like, the, the actor did it. Because like, this is based on a true story. I'm like, of course the actor is the one that it happened to. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Like movies are real. God. Thumbnail. God. Yeah. What? Twist of the century. Oh yeah. Twist of the mother effing century. So this is why the awesome shirt was created in the first place. Because we were writing the script mm -hmm. and we were like, okay, we need to have something where it's gonna throw people off, make them think that my dick got caught in the door mm -hmm. or something and that I was cutting it off. And then <laughs> uh, instead it's this awesome shirt that is too valuable to me and I never wanted to destroy it. Yeah, when I'm free. Huh. Um, thank you. Yeah. Uh, oh no. Do I have to sneeze again? No. Not again. No. No. I'm gonna go into the shirt this time. Oh, no. Not in the awesome shirt. No. That's awesome <laughs> shirt. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, that was a very weird sneeze. <laughs> oh, I was like, I, I realized there's tissues over there. I could have just ran in that time. But, uh, okay. Um, Oh man, now you're tired. Oh, <laughs> All that sneezing. <laughs> I'm just taking a nap. Even sleeping on the toilet, I'm sure, is not something new. Have you ever fallen asleep on the toilet? Anyway. Actually, yes. Anyway. <laughs> what? You haven't fallen asleep on the toilet ever? Even for just like a couple of minutes? No. Okay, so you've never been, A, very hungover in your early 20s. B, got up. When did I say I've never been very hungover? Well, because that happens sometimes when you when you wake up in the middle of the night and you're so drunk. That you fall asleep on a toilet? It, it happens to people. You fell asleep on a toilet. I have fallen asleep on a toilet, yes. <laughs> Isn't that did weird? Did you like fall over? No, you're just like. <laughs> what? Yeah. What? It's, it's, Brendan's nodding. Have you fallen asleep on a toilet? It happens! Have it you, happens. Have you fallen asleep on a toilet? No. No? no? What? Okay, no. we're, all right, we're at 50-50 so far. No? no? Okay. So two for five. Well, I'm a no, so it's actually, yeah, it's two for six. Whatever. Okay. Whatever. 33% yeah, of us prob have. You got problems. 33% is a pretty high margin. That's weird, bruh. Anyway, so. Oh. Uh, anyway, so we des I designed. <laughs> I wanted this shirt to look like the, the, like I hand drew this shirt, but yet was so obsessed with it that I was not willing to cut it mm. for the time that I was trapped in here. And I'd say it's a pretty good design. Yeah. Speaking of the awesome shirt. Oh, shit. Awesome uh, shirt. So uh, we have decided for a limited time. Yeah, this was a this was a favorite back in the day. People lost their shit we, over these. We are selling these again. They had this fun little tag below, and there's yeah. a little secret message that we've hidden in the tag that we won't tell you what it is. It's a secret, it's a secret but I'm looking at it right now. <laughs> uh, um, yeah, so we're bringing these back for just one week mm. after this video drops. So you could get this for a very limited time. We sold this for. A little bit back in the day, but then they were gone and gone forever. We have recovered the design. This is so soft. This is way softer than the original oh my design. my god. It's way better. Than yeah, the original design was like Gildan shirt. Sure. <laughs> yeah. Uh, so then we've also upgraded them and mm. thrown on this little oh, tag. A little tag, a little secret the, message. The li little limited edition Ooh. edition. Oh, baby. Yeah, I know. These are... Oh. Yeah. These feel good. Oh. Yeah, no, this is really good. I mean, I guess I'm wearing them. As yeah, well. you're wearing the same one, actually. But... Uh, <laughs> man. Uh, so yeah, available for a limited time. So if you want, if you want the most awesome shirt in the world, go you to Smosh.com. Go to Smosh.com. How much time do they have? Do we know? Yeah, just one week. One week. Yep. And once, oh! once they are gone, they are gone. They are forever. Gone. 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 Obama.
Yeah. <laughs> so, smash.com. Yeah. Uh, let's finish out this video. So, okay. uh, you cut off your shirt. We all cut thought it was shirt. your ween. I know. Um, and actually, I thought it was your ween. Because uh, you forgot? Well, yeah, when you showed me, when you showed me that like weird AI video, um, well, you showed me this video some point like months ago, mm -hmm. and I, I forgot the twist. <laughs> you forgot the twist yeah. that we wrote. I thought it was your wiener. I was like, oh, ha, ha, we got you got your wiener stuck in there. No. But no. nope, I got bamboozled. Now it's ruined. It just nip slipped right there. Mm. Something for the ladies. <laughs> And for some reason, I cut the roof off, but I couldn't cut anything else. Yep. Yeah. Oh, and you got the cheeseburger. Oh, yeah. <laughs> like, you think that it's fake, that oh, I was just imagining. I would go in there if I were you. <laughs> Why? Well, you know how I said I had to use the bathroom you earlier? Me. Yeah. Your underwear? Well, I don't have to anymore. <laughs> oh, God, dude! Uh-oh. No! Oh, no. Oh, <laughs> hey, I learned German. <laughs> yeah, you did. That was the moral of the story. Yeah. Is that if you try learning German for 172 hours straight, yeah. you will learn it. Yeah, Duolingo can't do that. Unless they pay me to say it can. Unless you want to sponsor, then you can. By the way, this show is sponsored by BetterHelp. Oftentimes in life, we're faced with tough decisions and the path forward isn't always clear. No matter what you're dealing with, whether it's anxiety, depression, or thoughts that keep you up at night, therapy helps you stay connected as you navigate life. And trusting yourself to make decisions that align with your values is like anything. The more you practice it, the easier it gets. I've been a huge proponent of therapy since I started going about six years ago, which aligns with exactly the time that I left Smosh. It helped me in ways I never thought it would, like having empathy for my past self and therefore understanding my present self better. And it also helped me with relationships and it helped me grow and it helped me reconnect with old friends that I never thought I would. So if you've been thinking about starting therapy, BetterHelp might be perfect for you. It's 100% online and it's designed to work around your schedule. All you have to do is fill out a brief questionnaire and you'll be matched with a certified and licensed therapist and you can switch therapists at any time for no additional cost. Make your brain your friend with BetterHelp. Visit betterhelp.com smosh for 10% off your first month. That's betterhelp, H-E-L-P dot com slash smosh. Now back to flashback. I, I, I thought that writing was super solid. I thought the it's pacing not, was it's great. It's tight. Yeah. It's very tight. It's very tight. We have, we have, be, we have behind the scenes. Oh, let's just play. I want to see what the, uh, the ending here said. To see an alternate ending. And get an alternate ending? And get the awesome shirt Anthony was wearing. There's the awesome the shirt. Click the link in the description below. Oh. <laughs> Thanks for subscribing. What was going on? See you later. Oh. What? What is that stuck in the? Oh, oh my, oh my God! Oh, I got my shoelace caught in the door. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh, here comes the extra. I actually forgot that. Oh man, I didn't know we had an alternate ending for this. I didn't. I like. Do you think it's we're not real? Do you think we're joking? It might have been just like a silly little thing we did. All right, I gotta see. But I don't remember. I I haven't seen these extras again since. This was first released. Yeah, probably said something really problematic. <laughs> yeah, That's for right sure, now. guaranteed. Him right now, right now, right now. By the way, these extras will be re released officially mm. for anyone who is a, a Smosh Tastic or Smosh Royalty tier member of this channel. Whoa. And you can go watch it officially in super high quality 720 or 1080p. Whoa. And that just came out right now. That just dropped. It just dropped like this in seat cover. Anyway. Shut up! Oh, yeah, it feels so good to piss. <laughs> hey, Dad. <laughs> what? Sorry I never mowed the lawn. I just didn't know what you meant when you said you wanted me to whack my weeds. What? Ah! Wait, can we look at the board? Or at the clapper, Smosh? Stuck in the potty, I guess, is what we were originally gonna oh, call it, actually. Stuck in the potty. John Jimenez? Jimenez? Jimenez, is my bad. <laughs> the camera operator. And look at the date, three. 12? Oh! 
Ooh. March 19, 2012. Damn, boy. Dude, that's crazy. And wow. of course, that is our uh, assistant director, Ethan. Mm -hmm. He's a very fun man. That's cool. ah! My just use a bottle. They're all full. Oh, this is the alternate ending. Fine. Oh, oh my god, I'm not holding the wheel. <laughs> oh, the alternate ending is we die in the first five cool. seconds. Yeah. <laughs> I love those alternate endings. <laughs> Sorry I never took out the trash. I just fing hate trash. What? Oh, this is disturbing. Oh. Uh, uh oh. Uh -oh. Someone There's call a, Sam and Colby. There was a man in the back seat. <laughs> <laughs> so gross. Why do we keep cutting to that with no context? <laughs> I did hit the camera up. So, what do you think about my awesome sh it looks like Scheisse. Funny. <laughs> Unnecessary uh, 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 censorship. Because it made it sound like you said, what do you think of my awesome shit? But you said oh, shit. I didn't even notice there was a bleep there. Oh. Really? I thought that I just had a brain malfunction. And I was like, why did we just play the exact clip that was in the video? No, you said Looks like sh think about my awesome sh Oh. It looks like shit. I did say it. But in my head, I was like, I said shirt. Oh! It's just us making faces. Yeah. <laughs> Who would throw away a perfectly good double cheeseburger? Oh, that was the original line. I originally said that, mm -hmm. but we didn't think that worked as much, so we just added the zoom. So. Oh. Cheeseburger. Weird. I don't know. Hmm. Did other people have these haircuts at the time? What do you mean did, did other, other people have Did these other haircuts? people have these haircuts? Um, at the time? Uh, no, I think I was original. I think I was an original. We were, yeah, we were definitely trailblazers mm -hmm. in uh, this kind of hairstyle. hair hair technology. Yeah, so anyone that did end up having this hairstyle, which was probably in the millions, hundreds of millions, is pro is directly influenced by mm -hmm. uh, these two gentlemen on the screen right now, who are trailblazers in the field. I did hear of people that got that got like my hair, like used me as a reference for their haircut, and I'm like, did you? My for real, for real, for real. Okay, it might seem cringy and weird and outdated and silly and dumb and bully and bready, but I mean, like, I didn't even, I for a long time, I didn't even want this haircut, <laughs> but, but like the the audience was so attached. Really, when were you done with it? What? When were you done with it? Oh, um, I guess I was still I was still rocking it at this point, but I'd say like by the time I moved to like L.A. It was like, I was like 27. Did you move in 2013 or 2014? 2014. I moved yeah. at the end of 2014. And you still had it then? Yeah. It was like questionable at this point, <laughs> but I still looked, I still looked like, I think I still looked like young enough that it was like, okay. Yeah. But I think by the time that I was like 27 and I was like, you know, I was, it was very clear that I was like an adult and it was like getting to that weird point where it's like, oh, do I look like an emo dad? Oh, that like, yeah. That like, oh, I should probably, this needs to change. But the audience was so, was so attached to the bowl. No, it's for real. And even now we get comments saying like, please go back to the old haircuts. Or like, it's not the same without it. Or like, so the sad. only thing missing is the old haircuts. Yeah, it would be, it would be like sad if we, if, if, I went, <laughs> if I tried to go back. Like, you, mean, you mean like to have it and to rock it and to be proud of it? I couldn't be proud of it. <laughs> and I don't think I'd be able to rock it. There are a few YouTubers who told me that they, like who had the exact same hairstyle as I did, yeah. that they took a picture of me to their hairstylist. Joey Graceppa told me that. Oh my God. <laughs> Dan Howell told me that. Yeah, you and Dan, you and Dan, uh, I don't, oh yeah, Joey Graceffa did have, yeah. Did have, yeah. 
Wow. It felt like all the biggest YouTubers had that hairstyle for a bit. So we were trailblazers. I'm telling you, we did it. Yeah. God, we're just so cool. We, yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, so to answer your question, yeah, lots of people had those hairstyles. Would you yeah. ever bring it back? Uh, I don't think I could. I don't think I could bring this hair back in the same way. I think my, why? I don't think I have the same thickness of hair. You know, it's changed. I think it's moved back. But if it's, if it's comb over, you wouldn't. I tell. feel like it wouldn't be as like it wouldn't be as like it would be like a little like more strandy. Hmm. You know, like hmm. I think. Oh shit, he's doing it! He's doing it! My hair's pretty long right now. So. Yeah, you can do it. Okay. Let's see. I really think you'd be able to rock it just the same. I don't think that your hair texture has changed. Now this, just, this really just looks like a toupee. <laughs> well, that's what people said about my hair back then. <laughs> yeah, I kind of did look like Like a they called it a comb over. It's giving redacted. Yeah, it's just like my like unhinged redacted character. <sighs> Yeah, yeah, a little bit. Pretty um, privilege. So yeah, back then I, I definitely, uh, had, I chemically straightened my hair, and I had, and, and I wore a beanie when I went to sleep, and I flat ironed it again in the morning to get it that straight. So it was a labor of love. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Would you say it was a labor of a love? A labor of love. Did you love your hair? I actually did love it. Nice. Yeah. Also, it was I huge know. in uh, in the emo scene. So a lot of people had that haircut. Aaron. I know. Did you feel like you had that hair for too long? I got rid of it in 2007. Remember we did that that video called Anthony Gets a Haircut where yep. you cut my hair? Mm -hmm. I got rid of it. Like Donny Osmond? Yes, I did look like Donny Osmond in it. What? This and is 2012. Yeah, so in 2007 I cut it and then I felt like my face looked weird. Mm. And I think partially it was because my I had no I was like pure white on my forehead and then like tan on my cheeks, so <laughs> it looks really weird. Uh, so huh. I grew it back and I learned how to do it a little bit better. Oh. And then, and then I was I was into it. I was into it at this point. Okay. I liked it when it was longer like this. Mm. Um, but then I got over it in 2014, <laughs> 2013 maybe. I can't remember when I cut it. Yeah. Maybe 2014. I got over it, but it was mostly because of the maintenance and how long it took to straighten it and all that. Yeah. So I was over it by 2014. Word. Word. Oprah with the guy in the uh, the big foot with the pickles. Oh, we were cutting that out. We were cutting. We we're supposed to cut little oh, words. Oh yeah, it was like my what was coming through on your side when we're like losing. And we're stuff. supposed to have like static. Oprah static. Pickles static. Yeah. 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 F you. You're a terrible friend. I hope you go die in a fire. <laughs> 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 this is, this is literally the guy that was in the toilet next to me. <laughs> this is every for 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 anyone that hasn't been in in the men's restroom before, or maybe it happens in the women's restroom too. I don't know. I'm sure it happens. That's in that's uh, that's a common sound you will hear <laughs> in a larger restroom. You're gonna hear at least one guy. Is going, <sighs> I feel like what you commonly hear. <sighs> but then there's a kerplunk sound after that usually. <laughs> the concerning the concerning one is where it just sounds like a faucet. Oh. And you're like, oh Dude, buddy. Uh, it's I feel like going into the rest, especially at like an airport or something where there's a lot of stalls, mm -hmm. you get a pretty good idea at just how fucked up people's digestive systems are. Yeah, for real. You're getting like a snapshot into like potentially like your future as like a 60-year-old man. Yeah. Hopefully not if you eat well. Or if you're like hearing like <laughs> sorry. What? We'll probably just cut all this out. <laughs> but like if if like if you're like peeing next to like like another person and you're hearing it's like <laughs> Is that like kidney stones or is that I think it's like prostate problems maybe. Oh. Like, yeah. Or are they just trying to strengthen like they're doing kegels? Like they're intentionally like so hey, we don't kink shame. I don't <laughs> Yeah, I don't know. I don't know. You learn so much about people's bathroom issues yeah. un unasked for. Oh, this is it's, You're just being subjected to people's issues. It's so it's so difficult to sit on this thing. I Are you know, your legs falling asleep? Yeah, you know when you sit on a toilet too long? 
That is yeah. exactly what's happening to me right now. You want to put the seat down? I've never, yeah, can I? This makes too much sound though, right? <laughs> I've never sat on a toilet so long with pants on. That's, that's pretty privilege. <laughs> uh, let's keep going. So this is what the song really was. <laughs> okay, now we know what song was really playing. Oh yeah. Hey mom. I guess this is it. There's nothing left. I'm gonna die in this shitter. But I wasn't a quitter. <laughs> other rhymes like that. Apple fritter. That's a good one. <laughs> Apple fritter. Oh, oh no. Is this the alternate scene from Titanic? <laughs> Damn, you went all out in this extra, this blooper. <laughs> <laughs> always keep it, always wear, always wear a spare. Always wear a spare. I almost pulled out, if I wasn't wearing that spare, there would have been some b-hole on camera. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> always wear a spare or you would have seen something in there. And it would have been some hair or everywhere. Or man pair. In my underwear. Yeah, that's right, that's right. So that was stuck on a toilet. In a toilet, uh, how dare you. That was stuck in a toilet. I feel like I, you know, I shared some very vulnerable moments you in this did. episode. You did. I don't think I shared my pants shitting story, but it's just not as exciting and I feel like it's not even worth it. Well, we should just save it for another time. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Do we have any other toilet related? Oh yeah, we do have another bathroom related. We video. have two guys, one bathroom. And then there's also that weird bathroom song one where it was like st stop motion a little bit, and it was like go into the bathroom, go. Oh yeah. Yeah 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 yeah. Okay. Probably won't show that one because I think it was that one was pretty mid. That was super mid. I don't even want to show it. I think we. I think it was yeah. We were like, yeah. That was definitely us just trying to throw something together because we made one sketch a week. Back yeah. Then. We were making a lot. Whew. Was that two sketches a week at that point? Oh, because of every Blake ever too? I think. Ooh. Maybe. Wow, our quality took a hit. Um, but uh, yeah, maybe maybe uh you'll share your your pinch hitting story for another yeah. episode. Um, if this video gets a hundred thousand likes, I'll okay. sh I'll share my pants shitting story. Okay. I think that's fair. That's fair. Is but it funny? No. <laughs> it's not funny. Uh, when are they ever? Thank you all so much for watching. When this, when the the end card plays, uh, you're going to be hearing a song that that uh, yeah. that someone has made very lovingly for Flashback with Smosh. We asked you guys to uh, make some uh, jingles for us. It took a little while song. for us to get to it, but we want to do it the right way. Want to do it the right way. Uh, so enjoy this song. Enjoy. Bye. Bye. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs>